hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so uh, this video is uh, in continuation of the videos uh, for computational chemistry here uh, we we are going to uh, describe something that is for the students so for the students of biochemistry or biology uh, there is a topic that uh, you see that the attachment of uh, this oxygen molecule to the uh, myoglobin um, that is uh, in this fashion that uh, the oxygen molecule is not perpendicular but it's uh, in such an angle and it attaches to the uh, iron metal that is here this is the iron and uh, it attaches to iron and uh, binds it and then uh, it it leaves at the end of the uh, when its uh, work is finished here so the the thing we want to see here is that uh, the binding affinity or the uh, attachment of oxygen is much more stable in in its perpendicular form that is if it is straight like this uh, then in this form but uh, that is necessary uh, that it binds in such a way that it can leave as well otherwise if it binds perpendicularly then it will be so strong that it won't leave the metal again and uh, there is another uh, pyrrole type moiety here if you uh, see the full structure of the protein uh, you see that that moiety actually uh, suppresses uh, this oxygen to be in this form so here is what I'm talking about. If you see uh, this group, uh, you can see that this histidine residue actually uh, is here that stops the oxygen to bind in a straight or perpendicular fashion. So that residue just uh, makes it uh, a little bit bent so that it can detach easily. So we'll just uh, make a calculation using Gauss view and Gaussian. Um, that can show us uh, what is the energy of this oxygen if it binds in this fashion or in perpendicular fashion. So what we can do is we can make a, a, a scan of this angle. So I'll just copy this structure. I'll paste into a new file. And now we'll set up the calculation. So here we set the molecule and we can make a mode redundant calculation so if you look here there is an R written that is the redundant coordinate editor if you click on it uh, this dialog box opens and you can add add something that is unidentified at the moment so we'll tell it that we are going to add an angle and when you add an angle you have to select three atoms so the first one is this one the second is this one and the third one is this one so we're taking this angle and going to change it now what we want to do with this angle we we should tell it here that we want to scan this coordinate and uh, you can see that the current angle is 108 degrees and uh, we are going to make it uh, straight that is roughly 180 degrees so uh, if we see 180 minus 108 it's about 72 degrees we're going to uh, uh, rotate this uh, oxygen so if we take let's say 15 steps that comes out to be 4.8 degree per step so what we do is we'll ask it to take 15 steps of 4.8 degree each so uh, that's how we'll reach from here to to make this oxygen straight uh, to 180 degree so uh, it will take 15 steps and the step size is a 4.8 you can definitely decrease the step size like you can take it as 2.4 and you can take 30 steps or you can adjust it as you want um, but uh, the more the number of steps the um, more time the calculation will take that's a very simple thing so I'll click OK 
Now the calculation is almost ready, but uh, you also might want to freeze some other atoms so that they don't get, get disturbed uh, during the calculation like these uh, carbonyl groups. Um, there, there is no need to freeze the whole molecule, but uh, I would uh, freeze these uh, carbonyls just to make sure that the calculation goes uh, in a proper fashion and doesn't get disturbed. So just click on the tools, atom groups, and now we're going to click here and select freeze. I'll just go to view and uh, ask it for the label so I get the atom numbers here. Now you can see that uh, I can freeze these atoms so 37, 38, 39, 40, 75, 76. So in the freeze yes column, I'll just write 37 to 40 and then comma 75-76. So you see that freeze yes is shown by the green color and it has uh, uh, shaded this these atoms in green that these will be frozen now so we can also freeze the other carbonyl group so that is uh, atom number 13 14 15 16 54 55 so i'll write 13 to 16 54 to 55 now you can see that these both groups are frozen that is uh, they they will not get changed uh, i have done this because sometimes if you relax the whole molecule they um, these uh, m both uh, groups they are electronegative groups they just uh, behave a bit odd and sometimes they may also detach from here so just uh, for the sake of uh, caution i froze them so now i'll click ok and go to calculate gaussian calculation setup and the uh, job type is scan that is sort of automatically selected and then in the method we can uh, select a very small basis set let's say semi-empirical calculation with pm6 basis set you can definitely go for a better one like dft or hartree fork but i'll just uh, make it quick at the moment you can put a title that uh, scan of oxymyoglobin and then you can select the number of processes you want for this calculation and go to edit save and here i can write a name scan save close it and submit the calculation to gaussian it will start running the job and uh, it will go uh, for some time because we have given it 15 steps and after that when the calculation finishes you can open the log file and view it so I'll, i'm going to show you the log file i'm going to stop it because i already have uh, completed that calculation so i'll just show you that log file so here is the log file there was some error in it so in the last step so it just gave you error but it has uh, going through 15 steps so I'll just show you here is the molecule and if I go to results scan you can see that here is the result uh, this is the first step where the angle was 108 degrees and if you go to the next step from here you can see the difference in angle uh, 4.78 degrees added and energy is getting reduced it means more stability and now if you keep going it will go to become perpendicular and now you see that the energy is the least one for this molecule it means that this uh, configuration or conformation is the most stable one uh, which means that oxygen in the perpendicular fashion is uh, bound uh, bound more strongly than oxygen in this fashion. So 
that's what we wanted to demonstrate with this calculation that the binding of oxygen in this way that is uh, much more stable and uh, uh, its uh, binding energy would be definitely the lowest in this uh, formation and uh, if it binds here in such a way um, it's less stable and uh, the, the oxygen can definitely get detached more easily so that's that's what I wanted to show you in this video that how to set up such a calculation to show um, to uh, help you out in your coursework and such uh, things that you study in the chemistry you can just use some software tools and you can uh, easily visualize those things uh, using a computer thank you very much for watching goodbye